Hey guys, welcome to Do Androids Dream, where we look at different games on the Android. Today we're going to be looking at the new Goosebumps game. Definitely interesting looking right off the bat. Player beware, get ready for some Goosebumps if you proceed. Let me introduce myself, I'm Curly, and I happen to be a skeleton. Welcome to Horror Town. I will be your guide for this tale. Nobody knows the mysteries of this place better than me. Follow my advice and soon you'll turn this perfectly normal suburb into an epic center of terror. Sounds like fun. Transforming a boring town into a home for vampires and werewolves, giant insects and aliens. Sounds like a plan. Hold your horses, Slappy. First we must welcome our first victim. I mean, neighbor. Let's see. This is one of those where you build a little town, which I like these type of games. I've actually played a couple of them. So let's see how this goes. And she looks so innocent and sweet. Oh, we're going to ruin her, aren't we? You've got Lucy. She looks way too sweet and innocent. What's wrong with her? Okay, so she wants to read some classic horror. I like this girl already. Gotta love a girl who loves some classic horror. So the game did just come out, so if you want to be the first to play it. This is so... Exciting reading Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, which is what I'm doing on the other channel. Maybe someday I can be a great writer like her. I like this kid. Of course, the glamorous Europe she wrote about is the complete opposite of this boring town I'm stuck in. Oh, wait, I know what voice to give her. I suppose nothing interesting will ever happen here. It's nothing like the exciting world of my books. You give me five minutes, sweetie. Just wait, my little Lucy. The mis mysteries hiding beneath this down's bland exterior may surprise you. <laughs> so, let's see. While little Lucy dreams of anything interesting happening, others make their own excitement. Dustin is the kind of child who knows how to get into trouble. He's a veritable demon. <laughs> Did you say demon? Finally, something interesting may be happening here. Ooh, yeah, I like it right there. I do like that you get to kind of choose that air, that little area, but you get to choose where instead of it telling you, you need to put it exactly next to her house. Hey, be careful. You almost hit me. Why are you always so inconsiderate? Why do you always have to be in my way, you know it all? Move aside. Dustin, you're, all, you're an awful human being. Wow, she is throwing it out there. With that attitude, you'll never achieve anything good in life. So I'm, um... I'm playing this on the computer, and it works really well. Um, I've tried it on the cell phone. It also works fantastically with the cell phone. That's dumb Lucy think that dumb Lucy thinks she's all that. I'm going to scare the life out of her and put her in her place. <laughs> I like this kid. Hey, loser, a cockroach is climbing up your leg. Stay still so I can shoot it. Ah, Dustin, can't you just leave me alone? Oh, he likes her. You should thank me for trying... For, for trying to make your boring life more interesting. <laughs> so I like this game. It's cute. Hey, Dustin, stop making such a racket with those cans and read the news head newspaper headline. Read? Come on. We're not in school. You sound like our teacher, Mrs. Shush. Is that the teacher's name? Shush, and, shush up and pay attention. It says that many years ago, a military truck carrying a secret cargo mysteriously disappeared in our city. So we're going to find out uh, what happened to it? Come on, Dustin. We've got to find that truck and find out what they were transporting. Perhaps there are, are ancient relics with incalculable historical and scientific value? Or maybe there are really interesting things like explosives. Like this boy. He knows where it's at. We'll never know if we don't look for it ourselves. Come on. Okay, so we gotta find the crash zone. There's nothing here, Lucy. I'm going home to watch TV. You can keep looking if you want. Wait a minute. Look, there. I think there's something behind those trees. It's a creeper and a skeleton and a dummy. Let's get closer and solve this mystery. Isn't this amazing? Well, I didn't get to read that for long. Wow, we found the truck and the secret cargo. Come on, Dustin. Help me open it. So I would think opening it is going to be a really bad idea. If I help you, will you shut up for once and for all? Hey, it's stuck. Wait a minute, it's starting to open. Oh, what was that? A hand just, just reached out from inside. And it's wrapped in bandages. Uh... 
It's bomb the mummy from the secret cargo. That's really cool. Okay. So these... Okay, we have to assign, so we have to spawn him. So this isn't like your normal um, building game, which is really nice. Oh. I guess we're not helping the kids, they're on their own. Oh, we collect the fear. I guess the fear powers us up. Nefer... Nefer nil mermit in kohor ranila. It's a mummy! Be care I'm gonna give him Snape's voice. Be careful, Dustin! Don't let it grab you! You don't have to tell me twice if you stay... Stay if you want, I'm running! Oh. Run la! And that's how those meddling children awakened Prince Koru from his internal from his internal rest. Wakey wakey, my friends. <laughs> this is just the beginning. I can't wait to see a rampaging horde of monsters tearing through the town. I like Slappy. Congratulations, you've completed the story, Curse of the Mummy. That's actually kind of cool. I do like the stories for this. Usually these games will give you one small story and that's about it. But it looks like we're going to have a lot of really cool ones in this one. So let's see. Jesus? Hey, hey kids, come closer. Let me see that. It's an Egyptian beetle. Where did you get that? Vi Where did you get that valuable, I mean semi-interesting bobble? Well, you see, an ancient mummy dropped it when chasing us through the forest. So it was a Tuesday? Yeah, pretty much. Would you like to make a deal with Uncle Seda? I can give you some coins for it. You're creepy. Perhaps, Uncle Seder, but you better not try to rip us off. We know the relic is valuable. <laughs> this girl's going places. Do I look like someone who cannot be trusted? Let's go to my pawn shop. It's not far from here. You look like you would be a guy that no one should leave their children alone with. Let's just say that. Expand the pawn shop zone. Okay. Visit the pawn shop at any time. It's open 24-7. Review all the good all the good selling opportunities. Sell your stored items and earn lots of cash. Tip, don't waste your items. Refresh any order that doesn't suit you. Huh, that's really cool. Okay. You wanna sell the pawn shop is always open. Perfect, children. You have made a magnificent deal with Uncle Sater. It was an okay deal, Sater, but we won't always have relics to sell. What about other stuff? I always find a buyer. When you have something you want to sell, come and see me. The pawn shop is open 24-7. Complete every book story to unlock more content. Make your town bigger, busier, and more mysterious. Obtain craft and sell items and earn coins. Alright, let's collect some stuff. We see the big old mark over her head. And you can see if you use Facebook, you get some stuff. After having accidentally awakened Prince Koru, Lucy returned to her harmless, harmless classic horror books. But her desire to stay safe battled against her relentless curiosity to find out more. Ever since I was a little girl, which I still am, I expected Uncle Enriku, Enriku? to somehow transform into Mr. Hyde. It never happened. But real monsters do exist. They really exist, and I've seen one. I can't continue hiding behind my books. I have to discover what other secrets are in the city. Okay, let's build the library. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna go a little, we're gonna do a couple of this. I actually, okay, so. You've got Mr. Mortman. Mr. Mortman is a humble librarian who tries to live a completely normal life. Of course, that's normal for some may be considered strange for others. I remind you that it is strictly forbidden to bring food and drink in the library. And needless to say, if you want to continue being welcome, please keep absolutely silent. Okay, let's mail the book return which we just looked at. We're going to build that right here by the library. Ah, oh, it gives you actually a lot of room to build really close, which is nice. There's more I... The more I read about this town, the more I want to discover all its mysteries. The rumor about Count Nightwing's castle. 
obvious joke. And Annabelle's house are, are fascinating. There are an awful lot of unexplained events I want to shout out. I want to shout out the truth to everyone. Child, this, li this is a library, not an amusement park. Keep quiet or go outside. I mean, to be fair, I can't believe it, that silly girl, Brooke Buschenberg, hasn't returned the early bird, enci the bird encyclopedia yet. If she doesn't return it in the next 72 hours, I will have to suspend her library card. Phew! At last, everyone's gone. I'll close the door before another one of those annoying children slip in. Those lovers believe they can get away with only studying the day before death. I'm very hungry and I need to ri I need to run out for food. I need to look for something to eat. That Mr. Mormon is so grumpy, I can't believe he treated me that way. Anyway, I need to read more news, but the official media but the official media cover up but the me official media covers up what's really going on. Cover up real what? Uh, covers. You just need to add an S. There is only one sector of journalism that details... that deals with important issues. The school newspaper. <laughs> Fake news? Read the school newspaper. Go be a good girl. Now I feel much better. A snack rich in proteins was just what I needed. <sighs> Mr. Morton may be a little eccentric in his culinary preferences. But there's nothing wrong with enjoying some crisp and juicy insects from time to time. Yeah, there's a lot wrong with it, but whatever. Sweet, I reached level three. I love how Ricky Beamer writes. He's so eloquent. I'd like, I'd so like to meet him in person. Hmm. All right, Brain, stop daydreaming about Ricky. I need to focus. We have work to do. So yeah, it's a. We're gonna finish both of these storylines up, and then we're going. Then I'm probably gonna end it. I've been too busy to do my shopping. I'd better go right now. This time I won't forget to stock up on cans of those delicious preserves. Okay, so we need to build. Oh no, no, maybe eventually. Okay, so for him I need to build old diner zone. So under coin we have enough. So while that's being built? When I was a little girl, I used to read in the treehouse out back. I wonder if it's still there. If so, the treehouse would be the ideal place to start my research. I just hope I haven't grown too much to still fit inside. Obtain materials from suppliers and animations. Complete the recipe's requirements to craft new items. Collect the valuable craft items when it's ready. That's really cool. We can actually craft things. I think that's the first time I've seen this. Okay, so we got that. So that's going to be about a minute. Got it. All right, congratulations. You crafted your first item. Yay. Oh, I'm exhausted from so much work. I think I deserve a break. I'm not sure what to read it, read before returning to work. Lovecraft or Poe? Go with some Lovecraft. At least she has some good taste. Hey, Lucy, is that you? What are you doing up there? Hey, Lucy, what are you doing in that treehouse? Lucy, can you hear me? Stop yelling. I already heard you, Dustin. Come on up. I want to show you something. I better find a way to improve communication to the ground floor. Oh, okay, I see. Here's your tin can telephone. So we're almost done with both storylines. They're good. They, they're a nice little amount for an intro. A per oh, perfect. I have filled the cupboard with exquisite canned cockroaches roasted in the shell. It's always good to have a full larder in case someone get in some ca in case some guests stop by. You nasty man, you nasty. My stomach still feels empty. I cannot resist such a delicacy. Hmm, I suppose one more snack before bed won't hurt. Control the hiccup attack? Huh. What? What is all this, Lucy? What are all these newspaper clippings on the walls? Hi, Dustin. Welcome to the Many Mysteries Club. Do you need us to solve a mystery? And that's how Lucy Del Rio created the Many Mysteries Club in the treehouse. 
I cannot wait to see the mystery she finds. <laughs> Oh no, I've eaten so much it's brought on the hiccup attack. Hip! Hip! I have hip! Control hip! Before someone sees. <laughs> I can't keep doing that. Before someone's. So let's see how much farther we can get in the storylines here. I think I'll continue though. But, but! What was that? Dustin, are you seeing what I'm seeing? I know, right? The Anita 3000 is on sale for $4.99! If only I could win it in the arcade. Not that silly there. Mr. Morton just turned into a gross green monster. Who's Mr. Mortman? The librarian. That man in the brown sweater heading towards the library. Come on, let's follow him. Let's see if there's any more types of um, play style in this right now. Officer, I swear that I had nothing to do with that. It was like that when I arrived. Hello, Seder. I've got a very useful item that you could sell very easily. Wait a moment, op officer. Some client just came in and needs my attention. Call me later. Excuse me. I was talking to my, uh, mother on the phone. Let's see. What do we have here? Seltzin can't really? Okay. Exclusive can phone except short and long distance calls. Doesn't require batteries. If it doesn't sell with that ad, I'll cut the thread and publish it as the first wireless can phone. Seda, you were born for this. He is a little bit of a... I do kind of like the storyline in this game, like I've said before. Get out of here, filthy animal. Oh no, I didn't mean you, Mr. Mortman. It was just... It doesn't matter. Come in, come in. Hello, Zader. I brought some preserves. I think you might be interested in. Can cockroaches? Of course I'm interested. You can't imagine how much their price can shoot up on Friday night after the market closes. So you can you can make more in cells. You can make some good money. Only for demanding pallets. Contains no addictives or addictives or substitutes. Pure and natural cockroaches. Ah, oh, pardon me, I meant to say hi. Uh, can I get a can of natural cockroaches, please? It's a snake man. Here you go, big boy, enjoy them. These monsters can be a pain, but the young creeps out partying will pay any price to get the good stuff. So we have a lot of storylines. Spy on him. All right, let's spy. Um, oops, so the timing is really good on this game. It's something I want to point out. Look at this. Um, usually these get longer and longer with games. This one so far, it's nice and short, but we're early in the game. It is. N I like it when these games are very short like that. Oh, it went, <laughs> it went really quickly, so I couldn't read it. Congratulations, you completed this story, The Girl Who Cried Monsters. Yes! So let's look at another story. Oh no, what are these children doing here? They cannot see me like this. You look the normal. Why do they have to be so nosy? Can't they let me live in peace? Oh, he really changed. You know what he reminds me of in that is kind of um, Freddy Krueger, like the actor. He kind of reminds me of him look-wise. I'll give them a fright so that they never stick their snooty, snooty noses where they're not wanted. So let's give shopkeepers a fright. And we've reached level four, which means, as you can see, we can unlock more. Now I want to show you guys some of the things you can actually... I do like the fright thing. Fantastic! Stop that. So you can see you'll be able to do more and more as you level up, which is nice. And of course you can level up your places. Um. I've seen you, Lucy Del Rio. It's useless to run. You know who I am. I never wanted I never want to see you around here again. Your library credentials will be suspended permanently. You see, here in Horror Town, you never know who's hiding secrets under their skin. <laughs> Ooh. Now, what's cool is if we earn enough bucks, we can actually get Slappy. Dustin isn't really a bad kid. He just doesn't know his limits. Do I have homework? I don't... Do I have homework? I don't remember. But no, I don't think Mr. Mar gave us homework. She thinks homework is old-fashioned. 
She believes we learn more from our experiences. I'm okay with this teacher. Hmm. You say there's an assignment in my notebook? Hmm. I must have missed it. I'll do the homework later then. So we can now build the toy store. So as you can see, you can keep building. Humans fear what they don't know, forcing monsters to hide their true appearance. Others simply hide in plain sight, decorating the yards and gardens of houses. Nobody perceives any danger from their presence, but these little ones can be lethal when disturbed. If someone throws garbage in our garden one more time, it'll be the last thing I do. That voice works so well. We get to build the little gnomey thing. See, I want to build Slappy. I want to save up for Slappy. I want to put the little gnome right there. So you do, and I also like that you do have multiple things you can do at once, so you never get bored. Hey, you get out of here. Play somewhere else. Who said that? Who's there? Can't you hear, pork chop? Go away, pork chop. Go away. I don't want to see your face around here again. What? The, the gnome is talking. Yanks! I'm getting out of here. <laughs> the gnome scared him so much, it just robbed him. There's so much story. I do like the skeleton. Can I build his home? Build the dark house. Okay, so we'll build that right here. So we got a lot of stuff building. Let's make a deal. If you bring me goods worth a total of 1,000 coins, I'll give you a 5% discount on your next purchase. So, wow, they actually do kind of challenge you. Hmm. Buy my can. And we can't sell anything else. Yet. I'm telling you the truth, you, Lucy. One of those garden gnomes yelled at me. That, that one there. The fat one with the round nose. I will murder you. Are you sure that gnome spoke to you? Looks like any other ceramic garden gnome. Yes, I'm sure it was him. I remember because he's the fattest gnome of them all. Who are you calling fat, Marshmallow Pants? <laughs> Alright, so we get to do another scare meter. Reach the milestone and claim a special reward. So let's get that special reward. We're not going to end this till we do. Wow. Let's assign that one. Let's assign that one. Let's assign that one. I'm going to assign them all. Now spawn. Fear my army of gnomes! Go for it! We shall send them- That's actually awesome that we get an army of gnomes. I really like that. Fear them! Fear them, I tell you! Oh, well, they really are fearing them. Wow. So we've got everything building. And we have gnomes on destruction! I see no issue with this. Spawn gnomes for the garden, reach the scarometer. So we're almost there. So cool, you can, win you can win a lot of money actually from this, so I'll be able to get Slappy pretty quickly if we end up continuing this. Increase your town's stats, okay. Uh, there we go. Okay, that's how you do it. Congra Ooh, we got it. We got our first one. Come here, kid. I'll teach you to respect other people's property and their stout, strong gnomes. Don't worry about me, Mr. Gnome, sir. I've learned my lesson. Shut up, Dustin! Keep running and never bother the gnomes, these gnomes again! So now it looks like the gnomes are on a chill. So yeah, all in all, I'm liking this game. I think it's got a really great story. Um, if you guys want me to continue this and do a full uh, walkthrough of this game and show you guys everything there is, I would more than love to because I am enjoying this game. I think it's cute. Again, if you want to get this game, it is currently out on Android and ISO. It is free, and the best part is it's really easy to earn the money in this um, so that you don't have to spend money, but if you do, you get things like a starter pack, which is great. I'd love to show you guys this. You can get the Slappy, you can get Slappy's house, the Witch's Tower, which gives you plus 20, money, which is always good, coins, that's actually not a bad offer for that kind of price. So if you guys want to support the developers and, you know, show um, how much you love Goosebumps, that's a great way. And if you guys want to see me do more videos of this, please let me know in the comments section, and I'll see you guys next time for Do Androids Dream. Bye, everyone.